Hi, this is Chip Dizard with WebVideoChefs.com, and I want to show you how to preach wirelessly with your iPad. So you can really present or preach or do any type of thing uh, wirelessly using something called mirroring um, with your iPad. So here's what you need. You need an Apple TV, and you need iPad 2 or newer, or iPhone 4 or newer, a wireless network, and then an HDMI projector. Or if you don't know if you have that, you need an adapter. Uh, and the, in the tutorial you'll see today, you'll see we bought an adapter to go into the regular VGA uh, projector. And I'll have links to all of these in the show notes so you'll actually know where to buy these things and how to obtain all of these items. So let's go right into our tutorial. So before we get started, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need this right here, which is an Apple TV. You're going to need either this, a connector, and this is, you can get this from the Apple Store or from any third party uh, software. It's just a connector and it, it has an HDMI port on one end and then it has a VGA on the other end where you plug that in, okay? It also has a port here for audio as well. So the Apple TV is the first thing you need. Or if you don't have this, if you, if you don't have this, you could just get a DVI, and if that's a, usually a DVI, this button right here, these are, this is a DVI, this is an HDMI cord right here on this, this side. Of course, you're going to need an iPad, of course, you're going to need some type of iPad, and then of course you're going to need some type of cord that comes with your projector. So, if you look at this projector right here, we are going to have two ports right here. We have the blue and we have this. So this is RGBN1, RGBN2. So how we're going to set this up, and um, I'm going to be running around a little bit here. First thing, we want to make sure that before we set anything up, that we are on a Wi-Fi network. So you need to be on your church Wi-Fi network, or if you have an iPhone or an iPad, or not an iPad, but just usually an iPhone, you can use your wireless hotspot. But prefer, preferably, you need to be on the church's uh, wireless network. All right, so... What we're going to do right here is we're going to set it up. We're going to make sure that we're on the church's Wi-Fi network. And then I'm going to show you how you're going to mirror the iPad to go on the screen. So the, that's all we're going to do. But we're going to use the Apple TV as a go-between for the iPad and this projector. And you can do this with an HD TV or projector, but 95% of the time in churches, you don't have a big HD TV, so you have these... Uh, things for a projector. So now, one thing that you have to get is the correct cord. This is, uh, right now it's not the correct cord, this is female, because it has inputs, and this is male, it has uh, the prongs here. So this is a, a transgender connector, I guess, and you just put that on there, so it needs to be male and male. So I'm gonna plug in the male into the RGB1 right here. Let me just get it in. Okay, so we plug that in, and then we'll take this in the apple, and we're gonna plug this in into the connector here. And um, another thing I want to say: once we plug that in, we're gonna tighten it up. And then, if you look right here on this apple, you have a thing for a speaker. So if you had any audio to run or anything like that. Uh, there's usually a cord, it's like a quarter inch cord that you would plug in right there for that. So once you have that in, now we need to connect the Apple TV to the wireless network. So what we're going to do now is turn on the projector and the Apple TV should uh, come up if we're doing all this correctly. And one thing I forgot to say in the other part is that you need to make sure you keep this. And this is the important uh, connector for the Apple TV and comes with a lithium ion battery. You can turn it with a key and get a new one, but you want to make sure you keep that with the Apple TV. So I'm going to connect this uh, to the Apple TV and uh, we're going to see how this works out. And there it is. Okay, so it's Apple TV has come up on the screen. Um, you can't really see it that well right now. Okay, we can turn it. So as you see, I plugged it in and yep, we see the Apple TV and we're going to go ahead and and configure configure the Apple TV. 
So, you need the remote, so I'm going to use this remote, and then I'm just going to click on English. Make sure I have English. Okay, so then it's going to ask me to set my Wi-Fi network, and this is an important step with a Wi-Fi network. You must, in order for this to work, you have to set your Wi-Fi network. So this Wi-Fi network is this down here, and I'm going to put on the password, and I'll... Yeah, I'm going to pull in the password here and then come back after we uh, finish. All right, so, so I put the Wi-Fi password in there. Apple gives you your, their privacy policy, if you can see. They give you everything else. All you're going to do, you're going to make sure you take this remote right here and just hit OK, point it toward there. Hit OK. Then you'll have the Apple TV uh, default screen. It's going to come up. It's going to take a little while, depending on the wireless connection. And then you'll see all of the stuff. So you don't want all the movies and all the other stuff on here, but you can see... You can go on YouTube, Vimeo, radio, podcast, trailers. You know, you can do basically everything with, with, if your church has a YouTube channel, you can log in. Right. So we have the iPad here, and we're going to double click on the iPad and then go over into mirroring. This button right here, mirroring. All right. And if you look, when I click on mirroring, we're going to say Apple TV. All right. Mirroring on. And once we do that, look what happens. Everything that we have on our iPad comes on our screen. So now we're going to open up Keynote. And now once I'm preaching a sermon or once Pastor Wimbush will let me show everybody this real quick, we show everything I'm doing. So I can walk around wherever I go. And if you look, I'm sitting, no cords attached. I'm right here. And I'm preaching right here from the Apple TV and the Keynote. So the key is double clicking on your iPad. So we double click, you're gonna swipe over, and then you're gonna hit that button right there called mirroring, all right? And mirroring on an Apple TV. Now, here's, here's what you wanna remember. When you do this, everything you have on your iPad will show on that screen. So if you got anything that's, that you don't want people to see, <laughs> make sure that you don't put it on the iPad for church. So you'll see I'm moving it, and I'm going through the entire sermon, and see how it's moving. So those are the steps to set it up Keynote and iPad. So um, what we have here, especially what you see, so you see Second Chronicles here, but on the screen, what you see is something different. So on the iPad preferences, if you click on this button right here, you can show your current slide, or you can say next and current and next. I like current and notes a lot of times if I'm doing it. But I'm saying you can show exactly what's on the screen. So you don't have to worry about delay. Now we see exactly what's on the screen when I go there and I click Second Chronicles here. Then I look up here at the screen that says Second Chronicles there. But if I want to adjust it, I would go right here to my adjustment. So it's up to you what you want to do. But I just want to make sure that you know that uh, when you have the iPad, you can go and set it the way you want. So that's it. That's how you preach wirelessly with your iPad. Special shout out to Pastor David Defoe. He was the first person to tell me he did this. And then a good friend of mine, Jared Anderson, and he actually set it up in a couple of churches. I was just lucky enough to film the steps. And a uh, shout out to Pastor Gary Wimbish of the Columbia uh, Seventh-day Adventist Church in Columbia, Maryland, for letting me use his church and showing you how to do this. Again, my name is Chip Desard with Web Video Chefs. You can always email me at ask at webvideochefs.com or follow us on Twitter at webvideochefs. I'll be having a lot more tutorials and a lot more tips for ministry and for any type of thing that project you have with your church or with your nonprofit organization right here. Thanks so much.